Strikes me that Fontaine wasn't overly inconvenienced by his own demise. On New Year's Eve, these wretched splicers come streaming out of the poorhouses and storm the proverbial barricades. They're dead right in the streets, and Johnny and Janie's citizen are lined up round the block for plasmids. Anything to help fend off the rabble. Simon, I know medical pavilion is your matter, but you might want to cogitate on this. Ocean water is colder than a witch's tip. You don't heat the pipes, the pipes freeze. Pipes freeze, pipes burst. Then rapture leaks. Now, I realise you're a posh sort of geezer, and frankly, I don't give a toss if you piss or go fishing. But once rapture starts leaking, the old girl's never gonna stop. And then I'll be sure to tell Ryan he's got you a thank. I begged Mr. Ryan to hand Fontaine two touristics over to Atlas's boys as a peace offering. But the stupid sod won't listen to reason. Instead, he's just splicing his mob up, giving them more and tougher plasmids. There's an arms race on here, in Rapture, but it's not about who can build the best guns and the biggest bombs. It's about who can become less of a man and more of a monster. If things weren't bad enough, it seems that even our water system sprung a leak. Yep, that's right. Irrigation system in Arcadia is taking on seawater. I told Mr. Ryan when we were building this place, either you build her like a bathtub, or she's going to turn into a sewer. No, McDonough, he said. We're not going to build no bathtub. We're going to build Eden. The good people of Rapture didn't sign up to see us government types shutting down shops, killing their owners. Even with a ponce like Fontaine. But he brought it upon himself. Instead of copping it on the chin, bugger gets it into his head that it's gonna go down guns blazing. Who does he think he is? John Bloody White. We can get on top of this. We can. Here's what we do. We find Fontaine's will and make what was his go to where it was intended. And not into the pockets of us that put him into the ground. Mr. Ryan, I believe in rapture. But that doesn't mean we always win. Fontaine Futuristics is the biggest thing going in Rapture. So let me be plain. When we arrest that tow rack Fontaine for his thieving and smuggling, we must make it clear that we won't touch his business interests. We sit on the council because these poor sods trust us. Not because God gave us a chair. I met Ryan the day me and the lads were installing the bathroom plumbing up in his Posh Park Avenue digs. Oi, says he. What's with all the brass fittings? General contractor had me down for the tip. Well, I says, I suppose it's the contractor then who'll be bailing out your loo once a fortnight, is it? If it's price you're worried about, I'll be picking up the brass, so not to worry, Squire. And why would you be doing that, says he? Well, Mr. Ryan, profit or not, no man bells water out of privies built by Bill McDonough. Next day I finds out I'm Ryan's new general contractor. Rapture's changing, but Ryan can't see the walls in the woods. This Fontaine fellow, he's a crook and a proper tea leaf, but he's got the Adam, and that makes him the governor. He's sinking the profits back into bigger and better plasmids, building them Fontaine poorhouses, more like Fontaine recruiting centers. Before we know it, Bo's gonna have a, an army of splicers. And we're gonna have ourselves a whole heap of miseries. Ryan nationalised Fontaine Futuristics. He owns it now, lock, stock and barrel. For the good of the city, he says. He'll break it up in due time, he says. I've resigned from the council and lodged me letter of protest, but that's just pissing in the wind. It'll be war, I say, unless somebody stops Ryan and right fast. Seems like some poor blighters have started seeing ghosts. <laughs> ghosts! Ryan tells me it's a side effect of this plasmid business. One poor sod's memory is getting passed on to another through genetic sampling. Leaks. Lunatics. Rebellion. And now, bleeding ghosts. Ain't life in rapture, Greg. I never killed a man, let alone a mate. But this is what things come to. I don't know. If killing Mr. Ryan will stop the war, 
but I know it won't stop while that man breathes. I love Mr. Ryan, but I love Ratchet. If I have to kill one to save the other, so be it. Fontaine knew our blokes were coming. We were done over. Then splicers come screaming out the woodwork, burping fire, spitting ice. Demons out of the Bible, they were. I never seen nothing like it. It wasn't a business he was building. It was an army.